We give praise to God. This is awesome. This is great. We thank God. We are so grateful unto God for this wonderful opportunity we have in his presence. So I want to go for the um, prophetic declaration for this evening. And we trust the Holy Spirit that the Lord is going to bless us again as we round up the program. I want us to go to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8. And uh, it says, Blessed is the man that trusts not in the that trusts in the Lord. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. We are talking about enlargement, we are talking about expansion, massive expansion. In the coming, um, the coming uh, empowerment retreat, we talk about incredible enlargement. <laughs> so, but in addition to all what the Lord has spoken to us through the various messages and through that day, Pastor Badru that have spoken to us on, 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 a, on divine enlargement, in addition to all those, this is this is another, this is another, another, another key. This is another key. This is another key. This is another another secret. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. And who hope the Lord is. That, and then look at verse 8. He said, It shall be like a tree. Planted by the river, by the by the by the waters that spread out our roots by the river, that expanding expansion, underground expansion, and shall not see when heat comes, resulting into resulting into 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 a, a, a enlargement, but her leaves shall be green, that is blessing. And shall not be careful in the year of drought that he shall not feel drought, he shall not feel drought, and 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 he shall not and 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 then neither shall cease from yielding fruit. He shall not cease, shall not stop from yielding fruit. Now the secret for all this is the man who trusts in the Lord. So that now I'm I'm praying for us today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am declaring unto everyone here that nothing shall take your trust away from God in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall take your hope from God in the mighty name of Jesus. The end time crisis that we are experiencing, that everybody is, that one is, everyone is experiencing, the end time calamities, the pestilence that is already ravaging the world presently, the hopelessness that is already enveloping the world presently shall not take your trust away from God, shall not take your hope away from God. Because the Bible says here in verse 8, it said, He shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water, and that is the word of God for you. In the midst of dryness, in the midst of this wilderness, in the midst of this scarcity, in the midst of this crisis, the Lord shall make you a tree. He shall make you like a tree planted by the waters where there are no waters everywhere, where there is dryness everywhere, where there is confusion everywhere. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water and you will spread your roots. You will spread your roots by the rivers. Your roots shall touch the rivers, shall be taking water from the river. And the river we are talking about is the rivers of the living water, which is Jesus. Your roots shall go deep down into the ground, stretching and touching and taking water from the Lord Jesus Christ. And your leaves shall not wither. You shall be, you shall be living, your tree shall be full of leaves. The meaning of that is that the glory of God will cover you. When people are feeling dryness, you will not feel dryness. 
When people are feeling confusion, you will not feel confusion. When there is calamity everywhere, it shall not come near you. Your leaves shall not wither. Your leaves shall not turn white. Your leaves shall not turn yellow. It shall remain green. It shall be green. It shall be fresh. It shall be fresh and green in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your trust shall be in the Lord. Your hope shall be in the Lord. You shall completely trust the Lord in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall move your trust away from him. Nothing shall move your hope away from him. You shall be like the tree planted by the waters. You shall spread your roots to the rivers. You shall take waters from the rivers. And the water shall spread over the trunk. And the water, and the, and the water shall water the leaves. And the leaves of you shall be green. You shall be fresh. You shall be flourishing in the moment of scarcity, in the moment of crisis, in the moment of dryness, in the midst, moment, in the, in the, in the midst of wilderness, in the midst of the desert of the present world. You shall be green. You shall be fat. You shall be flourishing. You shall be yielding fruit. You will not cease from yielding your fruit. You will not, you will not cease from bearing fruit for God. You will not cease from bearing fruit for the expansion of God's kingdom. You shall be full of beautiful works. You shall be full of great works. You shall be full of great achievement. There shall be mighty exploits. In the midst of lockdown, in the midst of crisis, you will be full of exploit. You will be full of productivity. You will be full of achievement. New ideas shall be coming out of your head. You shall be, you shall be functioning. You will not be redundant. You will not be full of darkness. You will not be redundant. You will not be caged in a corner. You will be progressive. You will be moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. That is what that verse is saying. He said you shall, you shall not see when it comes. Because there is it presently. All over the world, there is it. The nations are ravaging. The nations are becoming mad. The nations are backing. The nations are, are the, the nations are moving about like drunken, like drunken men. The nations are drunk. The, there, there is problem. There is wrath. There is anger in any place, in many places. Uh, but it shall not come near you. You will have nothing to fear. Even when thousands are falling by your side, ten thousand by your left hand side, it shall not come near your dwelling. Only with your eyes you shall see and behold the reward of the wicked. You shall be saved. In the midst of, in the midst of crisis, you shall be saved. In the midst of calamity, you shall be protected. You and your children, you and your husband, you and your wife, you and your household, you shall live in safety. The Lord will turn your house to go shame. In the midst of Egypt, you will live inside Goshen. You will have bread where yeah, there is scarcity. You will have money where yeah, there is, yeah, there is depression and recession. You will be supplied from heaven. Your supply shall come directly from heaven. You will not miss it. You will not, you will not, you will not collapse in the midst of crisis. In the mighty name of Jesus, affliction shall not come near your dwelling. Infirmity shall not visit your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be patient in the hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you are moving out, if you are coming in, you will go out in peace. You will come out in peace. What people are afraid of, you will not be afraid of it at all because it will not come near you. You are children of the kingdom. You are, you are children of the kingdom. You are marked with the blood of Jesus Christ. On your forehead is the mark of Jesus. In your body, is the blood of Jesus flowing in your veins. COVID cannot visit you because it cannot stand by the blood of Jesus that is flowing in your vein in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. All this thing we are gathering in God's presence, we shall use it for the expansion of God's kingdom. We will not be dry. We will not be dry. We shall be full. We will not be empty. We will not be shallow. We shall be full. We shall be productive. We shall have money. In the midst of recession, there shall be money. We are not depending upon the money we are paid. We are not depending upon the money we are paid in our places of work. We depend upon supply from heaven. 
We depend upon the supply from heaven. We depend upon the supply from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your house shall be full of things. It shall be full of food. It shall be full of resources. You will not be dry. You will not beg in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with you, with your, with your home, with your husband, with your children, with your family. It is well in the mighty name of Jesus. Henceforth, let no one trouble you, for you bear upon your body the mark of Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.